Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Michelle and you're watching Real Life with Michelle. I don't think I'm going to do that much today. I do have a story I, I'm going to tell you. I have crazy neighbors. I thought I'd tell you about my crazy neighbor story in the drive-by shooting that we had a couple weeks ago. That was pretty scary. I don't know. I'll probably, maybe I'll tell you that story a little bit. I'm not really going to do much of anything though. I dropped the kids off yesterday and oh my gosh, they, they wore me out. They wore me out. I came home and instantly went to bed. My back hurt so bad. I just stayed in bed for the rest of the night. I usually do that after I drop the grandkids off because it's just, it's just so, they're just busy. I don't know. They're just really busy. So I usually do that. And then uh, I usually eat for dinner. We usually have something that I already had planned. So before we order out, we have ordered out quite a bit. So I don't know. Other than that, I think I'm going to do an Aldi order today because I we need groceries and I I don't feel like going to the store. So that the Walmart pickup and the Aldi order, I take advantage of that a lot, a lot. I'll probably hit the grocery shop today. Other than that, I'm not really doing much today. My back really hurts, so I'll probably go lay down for a while. I don't know. These are the days that I like my bed. All right, well, on to the story. So my neighbors, let's talk about the neighbors. I live next to a rental house. None of the houses on the street are rental properties, but this one. And the owner, didn't do a very good background check on who he let move in there. Like, so he says. I don't know. We've talked with the owner. But one night my granddaughter was over. My oldest granddaughter, Haley. And she was going to spend the weekend with us. We were out doing stuff. And we decided my husband was working on his truck. And his brakes. And he wanted to take the car for or his truck for a drive. So we did. We took the truck for a drive. We went up north a little bit to this ice cream place I like. Well, we did that. And on the way home, my husband says, hey, we haven't had dinner. Do you want to stop for dinner? And normally I would have said, you know, we just had ice cream. What do we need dinner for? So I said, sure, I, I don't care. We can go. So we did. We stopped in and, and ate then dinner. came home. And as we were coming home, the police were showing up all over the road. I'm like, what is going on? We pulled in our driveway and the other neighbor came over and said, a car full of teenage boys just drove by and shot at the, that neighbor's house. They weren't shooting at our house, they were shooting at the neighbor's house. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Well, thank God we weren't home. My granddaughter, here, just hearing the gunshots, my granddaughter would have been traumatized. She was traumatized from the incident anyway, but she didn't actually, we weren't home, thank God, because we probably would have been outside. So the police were, you know, questioning, and so we talked to them a little bit, and then they were, they found bullet casings in my front yard. I'm like, oh. So, I'm not sure, I think I think that the people that were driving the car, I think the boy was arrested. And we've kind of been leery for quite a while. We were leery about going outside until he was arrested. And we still are cautious with the kids. When the kids are here, we are outside with them. And hopefully, we've talked to the landlord. And hopefully, these people won't be in there, this house, very long. But that, it's scary. It, it is so scary. The neighborhood we live in is kind of more old people, and they've been in their houses for 30 years, 40 years. So it's this neighborhood is nice. It's small. You know, the our home, we bought our home off of a, the lady had passed away. She was, I think, 103 or 106 years old. And she lived in this house for since her kids were little. This is where her kids grew up. So we knew the neighborhood was safe. So the neighborhood is still safe. It's just mm, the neighbors. Let me tell you, there's a lot of screaming and yelling and fighting coming out of that house. I'll have to tell you the story about the time we had to call the police because he was screaming at us. And it's like, what is going on? This guy, mm, I don't know. So that's the story on that. 